Okay, let's talk about contracts. So, what are contracts in an everyday life? You can find contracts, for example, with your mobile phone provider, right? You have a contract of service, say you're with AT&T, with um, Verizon, or here in Canada with Telus, Rogers, Bell, or you have a contract with your internet service provider. It renews annually or monthly, or you can also have a contract for your rent. If you are now currently renting your apartment or your house or your condo, you have a contract, annual contract, or you are also maybe leasing a car. You can also have a contract to lease 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. So that's, that's basically what contracts are. So for this example, let's create a contract uh, that makes sense. For example, let's we wanna maybe lease a Tesla Model S car and we want to create a contract. Say for example, we are a leasing car company and we want to start creating contracts so that we can assign contracts to opportunities so our sales team can use it. Okay, now, we are going to go to our Trailhead Playground. So first things first, we want to unlock the contract field on the opportunity object. So the opportunity object, there is a contract related field. Field label, um, contract. So child relationship name is opportunity. So we want to unlock this so that our sales team can see the related list of the contracts all right so let's go ahead and do that so if i am going to go to my object manager over here and search for opportunities and then fields and relationships if i search for contract so we have contract here okay and i want to if i click on here set the field security level and make sure it vis it's visible for people who are supposed to see it contract man manager i want i want them to be able to see them because they need to create contracts right and standard user and sys admins because we are wanting to create a sample on this playground okay so let's first enable that Next up, let's see, field accessibility. We need to make it editable, not just hidden. So now if I want to go to contract over here, now it's, it's all hidden, so nobody can see it, right? So I'm gonna change this for, let's see, standard user. I'm gonna make it um, visible. And it's not read only and I'm gonna hit save and add the contract field to the opportunity page layout I'm gonna save that so we just added that the standard user right um, let's go back to contract here so now okay so now standard user editable sys admin editable and contract manager is also editable so that's the only setup you need to do now uh, users who are able to view the contracts will be able to create contracts and associate it to, to opportunity so before we want to uh, associate a contract to a deal or a, a car lease for example let's create one so i'm going to go to my sales app here sales now i'm just going to search directly for contract there are contracts all right so we are on a contract page we don't have maybe we have it from the trailhead no not yet let's make a new one let's make a 36 month tesla lease 
So account name is Tesla Inc. Um, okay, it's US dollar. Let's just make it simple, okay? I'm not gonna complicate things here. Basically, uh, let's make this um, activate it. And, and with contract, you can tie this with an approval process. So whenever a contract is associated with an opportunity, you can uh, you can change this to in approval process. So let's make it a draft for now. So start date is October 1. They want to start the lease, for example. Contract for 36 month lease. Expiration notice, um, 30 days maybe. Give them 30 days. So we don't have all of these details yet. We don't have that yet. So I'm just going to save this contract, okay? So I'm going to save the uh, contract and then what do we name this? Uh, it's just going to have a number on it. So I'm just going to save this for now. So we have a contract 0, 0, 0, 0, 100. So this is the Tesla Inc. contract. Now let's, for example, let's make, make things up. Okay, this is just a makeup. Uh, made up things. I'm going to create an opportunity for an account. Let's say zone um, IO. We want to lease a Tesla um, a Tesla car for 36 months. So let's create an opportunity. Um, I don't know how much it cost. Let's check out tesla.com. Uh, let's go to Canada, Canada, and then we want to lease the model S. And then I want to order this. And I want to actually lease. So let's do the plaid, that's cool. And then we have to change this. But that's okay, this is just an example, right? Make it red. Boom. That I like. Uh, yeah, that's better. Looks nice. Pretty cool. You like black or white or... Ooh, I like this one. All right, let's put it all. Select option. All the whistles. Lease. Aha. So it's costing 2,000 lease payment. Let's make this amount, okay? $2,177 a month. That's a pretty expensive car to lease. So close date, October 1. Uh, next stage is, let's just make it negotiation or price quote, um, Tesla. 2020 Tesla Model S, 36 months, lease. So, and then here, see, this is where it comes. So contract, you search contract, there's only one. So we'll just pick one for now. And that's how you associate that. So now you can associate the opportunity with the contract. And as we save this, now it has a contract. So this is the opportunity, 2020 Tesla Model S, 36 month lease. And we have a contract document now. Actually, it's on the details. Now you can drill into the contract. Oh, this is the contract, for example, right? And then you go there, and once the deal is finalized, and this is actually approved, you can change the status and put in the dollar amount to activate it on the October 1st, and who signed it and stuff like that, okay? So you can just fill in the details. So that's basically how contract works in Salesforce. You can do this with mobile phones, with internet providers, with car dealerships, renting houses, boats, whatever that has a contract on it. All right, so that's what contracts are for. 
Okay, let's see. Make sure we cover everything that's discussed over here. We did that. Access and then contracts. Linking and then we have a contract. And then sales rep, we did that with Tesla. We created a contract. And that's pretty much it. And relate that to the opportunity. And there. That's it. We've already done the challenge on the previous video. So I'll see you on the next section. Pada bing, pada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom